So today uh, we are going to continue uh, topic uh, Java file system. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. So I said uh, we discuss about this uh, path concept, right? Uh, like uh, in the window machines, yeah, the Linux machine. What is the path, right? So right. We started discuss uh, for the window is the concept like a uh, path variable can be like a C drive, colon, or directory name, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. so for the Linux, uh, look, we maybe there is no kind of direct um, drive or directory, simply slash uh, TMP, right? Or slash mm -hmm. bare, right? Or slash yes. etc. Okay. These are the main. Uh, uh, Directory structure, you can say. So, as a Java language, as a programmer, I know that I am working on a window machine. So, what would be the path we have to follow, right? Right. Um, maybe I am using a Mac. We know okay, what is the Mac path system. Mac path so system. So, yeah. maybe our application when running, how application can design, decide ki on which operating system I am running and what is the uh, path variable. Path variable is the backslash or forward slash right right how our uh, system automatic can identify it. so for that java is already given the some classes a method which tell you hey ki this uh, j your java application is running on the which operating system and what is the default exactly separator what is the path right, right? separating mm -hmm. the file path right right so for that uh, we have a this is the one uh, class file system itself a class file mm -hmm. system this is the one class file system okay right and notice now uh, till now uh, we are using the java.io package java input output package previously what are the classes we read the java.io dot file reader buffer reader output system right so this is the new package we are going to understand nio nio means the new input output stream okay oh, yeah. and oh. are you okay. this is a package name where this class exists right that's it, that's it. Mm -hmm. and this class have a you can say lots of uh, you can say directly this class have a file systems mm -hmm. or there are lots of static methods like uh, maybe default uh, 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 variable okay default mm -hmm. By default, you say this is the our file system object created. Okay. Right. And here in this object, you can find out ki, what is the my uh, this is lots of method. Find the all the uh, store file, path, root yeah, directories, uh -huh. or separator. What is the file separator? Ki, how the, the this is the variable, this is the file separator. So this is uh, give you ki, what is your file separator. You don't need to remember ki, Backward slash or forward slash, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the way you can by default. Oh, then a file separator is like, uh, are we it using is, yeah. this file separator for the size of the file? No, file separator the path. Like path. Uh, here, say, like uh, this is the, my class. So this, how no? Okay, this is the C, Ajay, directory, Ajay, Java home, source, main, com. Your package name so this is a separator how this uh file a folder name separated to each other right achha, so achha. this is the slash here right this is the slash right, right. forward slash r our these are the meaning of separator how the files are directories are separated right so by achha. default notice this is the whenever you run this command they say this is your uh file separator used for this operating system right achha, achha, achha. and if you run the same command in the mac it will maybe give output like this way right As java system identified our application is running on which operating system right mm -hmm. and uh, right mm -hmm. so this is the one method sometime we are confused to find out uh, a kind of a we have to use this method find out the file separator means ki how two files are separated to each other right so mm -hmm. lots of options this this class have so as of now let's ki i want to find out ki what number of directors root directory like in the case of uh, our 
Windows C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive, right? And I want to find out key what is the drive for our uh, Linux machine or Mac machine. Mac machine having maybe slash temp, slash home, slash etc, right? Right. So similarly, this is the kind of a uh, function available. Just uh, like uh, uh, get uh, directories and just for each and just print and check. They give me all the your uh, available directories in your OS operating system. Yeah. Achha, achha. Here you can find out in my machine what number of root directory would be. So here mm -hmm. notice I my machine have a C drives and D drives. Right. Similarly, if you run the same code on your Mac machine or Linux base, they say maybe slash home, slash etc, slash temp, right? All are the existing root directories, right? Achha, achha, achha. Uh -huh. so these are the uh, existing uh, classes uh, like a file system is a class that give us information about your file system on which machine it's uh, working achha, achha. right achha, achha. Ah, sure. so, so let's see now you find out uh, this is the file system like uh, c drive or d drive let's see in the d drive i want to going to create one new folder right Mm -hmm. One way manually I'm going to create here. Manually I'm going to the D drive and going to create some folder, right? This is the one option. One option okay. I cannot say, hey, our applications, I'm going to I know that now we have a two directory available. So uh, mm -hmm. in the D directory, I'm going to create uh, maybe uh one new folder, right? Mm -hmm. So Java have some method key can create directory and not directory, right? So right. we have a method so Java uh files this is the one class files this is the one class files and say maybe create a file create directories create uh, one directory or create link create temporary file lots of you have an option to create achha, achha, achha. Mm -hmm. okay right so good mm -hmm. so let's achha. simple i'm going to create one directory okay uh -huh. So I'm going to create one directory. Uh, so what would be the path where I'm going to create? So this uh, class is expecting telling me the path where where because now in your system I have a multiple directory, maybe C drive, D drive. You have to mm -hmm. tell me the path where you want to create, right? Right. The so first you have to figure out the path. So notice mm -hmm. this create directory function uh, methods are expecting uh, they are expecting you pass me the path path right path what the path you are expecting right okay. so let me define the path path is the class which tell us what where the path mm -hmm. to maybe path and path have a one static uh, method like a uh, half and here say i am going to create a d drive okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Or uh, here you can even I don't want to hard code here. So you can directly get from here. I already know we have a what number of directory we have. So okay. instead of this, you can say, "Hey, Java file system, I want to my directories check, check variable dot variables, and this is our root directories and." Uh, I want for loop path okay, path equal to root directories okay, mm -hmm. and what say let me one s out yes. let me comment out and run it so here now we have a no key this is the we have a Two directory, one root directory, two directory. Now we have a two root directory, one root directory. Mm -hmm. Whatever path you want to decide, you can pass here, right? Uh, so let me I am declare this variable path here. Hey, yeah, this is the path variable, right? Mm -hmm. Path variable. And initially, let's say I'm saying null path variable, and I'm going to figure out here this is my path variable. Hmm. And here, instead of uh, uh, 
painting as a path equal to my path. Okay. So mm -hmm. now I uh, find out the what is the path I am going to create. So he instead of here writing uh, manually hard code, you say, okay, I am going to path. Already I have a path, right? Mm -hmm. You have one own option key by default. You want something. What is happening? Get the path. What is happening? Okay. I'm so confused. Okay. So here mm -hmm. let's check what the path you find. So right. Yes, I am going to print S out path. So finally, in the both directory, we can get any path. Any path one, path two, path three. Right. So mm -hmm. notice we have a two directory, and I am choosing the path directory. So here, say I am just uh, going to create directory, create directory mm -hmm. under this path. Okay. So you have to specify this way. Our simple way. Uh, simply, I am saying I want to create file directory. Just say file files dot create directory and give me the path generally we are following path you mention the path hey i want to go in d drive a folder name could be test uh, my test folder right my test folder whatever the name you can give me right my test so notice in the d drive there is no kind of such folder right mm -hmm. my d drive there is no folder so now our application whenever run it it's created it is the simple way. Okay, now we created this path. So it would, would be good. You can create this in a variable, right? Yeah. Variable. Now you have. And just pass. Oh, Jay, one thing, just like, sorry. Uh, sorry for the bothering. So now, yeah. path eventually. Ask question. Uh, this eventually just for the now path uh, mm -hmm. that is that is the, that is uh, that we are not eventually just putting in the now path in the real time project no but like this one for the now path why we are mentioning sometimes just like for uh, that is i'm curious about because of that no, we, are not, now we are not sending that null path whenever you declare any variable by default java you not initialize that is null right uh, later sure. part we have to initialize the value right uh -huh, uh -huh. whenever you uh -huh. declare any variable string s Right. String S uh -huh. by default string name. So uh -huh. Really, no one have a name blank, but by default, you are not assigning anything until this is a null. And a later yeah. part, you can say, Oh, no, no, name could be like a test or hey, uh -huh. hello, right? Whatever the name. Uh -huh. So, later part, you can give the value, right? Uh -huh. So, due to that, by default, the nature of a Java language, whatever the object you are declaring. By default, mm -hmm. until you are not initializing, either an object I consider null. Null means they are not pointing to the any value. Null is mm -hmm. just indication. Just hit mm -hmm. null is not in the value. We no, consider no, null is not. not a value. Null mm -hmm. is just indication to the Java virtual machine. Hey, this variable is currently not pointing to any value. Right. Okay. So whenever I run this code, so our this class files class created the directory for me. Achha, achha. So notice, uh, let's check. Notice here, my test directory created, right? Uh -huh. Created, right? Uh -huh. So this is the way programmer, you can create the test directory. OK? Uh -huh. So now let's want to create some file. OK? So you can say, uh -huh. hey, uh, now this is the my files. Then we have option dot create the file. And uh -huh. tell me the path. Where you want to, when we're going to create a file, you have to tell the path, right? Right. Path I'm going to create. So let's say I'm saying this is the, my path. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the path D drive, my path directory. Right. Okay. Here I'm to create the path file, right? Right. Path and it will create. So you can say A, a path. Uh, you can say maybe this is my directory already created mm -hmm. in this directory i am going to say in this directory oh double quote mm -hmm. double quote okay and say okay, i am going to create one new file d drive slash uh, my test mm -hmm. and inside this file uh, one dot txt okay so now this command is going to create a file for you. 
So this file, it is as uh, just create as a text file. As a text file, I just uh -huh. whatever you want, you want, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Definitely. So Definitely. that we can read it. Okay. So uh -huh. notice I created one file text. Mm -hmm. Notice here till now, uh, this is my D drive. D drive I have now created one my text folder. Here there is no file. Whenever you mm -hmm. run, it will create one file would be right. run here. And let's check. Notice uh, my test slice folder. My test already exists. Mm -hmm. So let me first uh, maybe this is already exist. So let All me right. I delete because already I created here first line, right? All right. I'm going to say now, now directly create the, this file inside this directory. Create create file and let's check it will create. See again, say Java Tagnai file. What's saying? D drive, no such file. Okay, <laughs> they are going to. Okay, so we have to create path option. What about the file? The whatever the next option they are accepting, you have to tell the mode. What is the file attribute? Default is the create option. Mm -hmm. You want to read, write. What is the file attribute? File attribute. You have to give the maybe file name and file attributes mm -hmm. we have to uh, this it is object create file accurate directories file attributes any other methods so be like a uh, files attribute but no let's check uh, Create files. This mm -hmm. will expecting key. This uh, file must be exist. They are not creating. They are expecting this file must be exist. Something not found exception. Okay, let me check. This is the which. This is the path. Create new. Get. Path. Uh, okay, you have to use the file object and then create new file boolean. This is the one way. It's mm -hmm. last time we did, and just want to the different. Uh, all the things we do is in the file output stream using Guava, not any issue. Any files. Let's mm -hmm. check. Oh, this is the lots of copy method. Copy, copy, create files. Create a new and empty file failing if they already exist, right? Mm -hmm. so create new file empty path. Okay, they return the file system dot exist. Path link create, 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 delete, exist. Create happy. This is the method. So they say ki you have to path create a new empty file failing if file already exists. It is so strange. I mean, our my system, it should not exist. Mm -hmm. D drives file start create. What they say? Create an empty files. This mm -hmm. is the so that's mean initially you have to create an empty file. No, we can. Just there are multiple options. This is the one option, basic option. Like say. Uh, Lots time, lots time. Whenever we started first time class, create file. Simply uh -huh. say a new file. Uh -huh. uh, file. Okay, and file have lots of constructor. You can pass just pass the file name, right? Okay. And they will create the file. So this is the last time we did, but there is a multiple way, many way we can create a file. Just I'm trying to say, this is the one way you can just pass here. 
or like uh, these are the things we pass. They create the file, right? Uh -huh. This is the way you can just create here. Okay, and let's I comment out. Okay, and that's here. And file object dot create, right? So they create new file. Okay, this is the also uh, the multiple way, and you can check just output this file created or not. The by default in the D drive, my test one folder uh, file created. This is the one way. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, whenever writing this time, this time the compiler say hey, this directory not exists. Notice here D drive, D drive there is no directory. So whenever okay. you run this code, this say hey my test directory not exists somehow. This will throw. Okay, okay. because okay. they are expecting D drive. Notice ki this directory cannot exist, right? Path not exists. So we have okay. to let's say okay this not exists. Let's create the path. Okay, mm. so say I'm so going. Create the path. The first you create the path. This is the path created, and after that you run this command. They will create one blank file. Uh, okay. okay. Notice it one, and after you can take in this directory this new file created, right? Uh, okay. The blank because not we have not putting anything, right? Uh -huh. In this way, also you can create, right? Just, but I'm soon why this uh, methods are expecting. This is the way also we can create. This is the one way using mm -hmm. this file object you can create, right? Right. One way. But I'm uh, uh, think why this method they are expecting uh, whenever I run this code. And let's check this. Okay. Let's check this. This time, say maybe file exists or something. Okay, say. Uh, already exist okay mm. because the I have already created this directory so this directory already exists we cannot create already existed directory as uh, we are running same program multiple times whenever in a real application is the application run only one times and mm. they are going to the create mm. already is file already exists okay, because already this is the exist somehow so if I remove it Okay, so my expectation it will be create right, but mm -hmm. they are not creating. Okay, so might be we have to pass the second parameter. Why they are not uh, creating right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, so maybe let's uh, multiple options we have, but uh, this is the one way, another way. But surely this class have a multiple option. Files class is the uh, you can say many many more methods we have to explore. I okay. uh, notice uh, Riyad whenever I'm thinking of this file class. Now this file class come from this package, Java dot nio package, right? Notice uh -huh. this file, this file class. Till now, uh, whatever we uh, study, like uh, buffer reader, writer, all are come from the Java dot io package, right? So notice uh -huh. till now, whatever the packages we understand, the library classes that come from the Java package IO. Now today, whatever you are reading, that is come from the NIO package. Okay, mm -hmm. Java NIO, new IO input output system, right? So mm -hmm. in this case, there are new classes like Java file, Java file system, files and paths. Path is for the getting path, files for related to files activities. Okay, right. So files have a lots of option here. Maybe create directory, create maybe 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 writer. Here you can simply writer to write or copy. Maybe create directory, maybe create link, maybe create soft link, create temporary files, right? Mm -hmm. Just delete path. Just specify the path and they will delete, right? right. So let us uh, uh, first I I think this is the exist or deleted. I deleted. First let's this create it and after that I'll Use a file delete operation. Let's say I want to delete them, right? Uh -huh. So I can create, then I can also delete, right? Right. So let us in this case, I just create directory and I create one file. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Till now, here no file, and after that, when the program run, it will create. Okay. Now it's right. create, right? Now in this case, I want to remove this, right? So let's I comment out and I'm going to say, hey. Can you delete this file? Sometime mm -hmm. only, right? Right. Mm 
You're absolutely right. Yeah. Right, and here this is the we are going to files, files uh, dot delete, and just say the path delete, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And what is the path? Uh, this is the my path, right? This is the my path, right? Mm -hmm. This is the path I pass. And let's check this is deleted or not, right? Mm -hmm, sure. Let's out, OK? Mm -hmm. Let's say OK. Because this method, path methods are written void. They are not written anything, right? Mm -hmm. So let me check this one file currently exists. Yes, currently exists. It should be deleted, right? This file mm -hmm. should be deleted. Uh, so let's run. So okay, let's check. Notice there's a file deleted from here. No one dot file exists, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No file exists. No uh, if I again run run this program, it will throw exception because this file not exists, right? Let's again run the program because right. first time I run program it deleted. Sure. No such file. There is no such file, but it is still we are trying to delete, right? Mm -hmm. So such times uh, we have uh, some conditional. Instead of writing this, I say, hey, files dot delete if exists, right? So I am going to use this method. If exists, then delete. Else. Don't delete, right? So before we did just like if it doesn't, no, no. If there is not exist, then there is nothing to remove. Yeah, but because if, if file exists, then delete. Not exists, then don't delete, right? Don't uh -huh. throw exception like this, right? Oh, that's, 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 that's. Now, if I run this, it will not throw exception. Because even uh -huh. it's not file exists, even right. its code works fine. And they uh -huh. return some, I think, Boolean value, true or false, right? So right. let's uh, return the Boolean value. Right. It's deleted. is deleted, OK? Uh -huh. And check. Deleted, right? And if, right. Should, if they're not deleting anything, say, hey, I am false. I'm not deleted anything. Notice they return false. Right. What happened? I just I create one. Uh, let's say I create this file. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this time, I can say just I created this file. Okay. Mm -hmm. I created this file and I make the temp this file. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll create mm -hmm. it. And after that, just uh, let me. Comment these two so that we can check this file exists. And right. there is no file exists, right? Right. And, and I'm going to create first. It's in the class. I run it file created, right? Let's check run. Mm -hmm. This one.txt file created. Now notice here one.txt created. And mm -hmm. now I'm going to just comment. And, and now I'm saying, hey. Can you just check this delete? Okay. In this case, this time, this file exists, and this say, hey, this is deleted. True, right? Because file exists, then they delete, right? If right. you run it, in this time, say, hey, yes, I am able to delete this file. Notice, deleted, true. And here, uh -huh. notice, the file is removed. Removed. Ah, Ag again, I run, is this time, say, not no file exists, then say, deleted, false. Because it there is no such file. Notice this is a false because already we deleted when we were on file. Uh -huh. But like in here it is not showing that okay, it's already deleted or something. It is yes. showing false, but I have to understand that it's already been deleted. No, this file not exist. Not exist. Okay. Yeah. This makes sense. Because there is no file exists, then delete operation say like, I'm not doing anything, right? No, no, no. Sure. So lots of you can say this class have a methods we have to explore. Surely, I'm lots of methods this class have. This is a good option. Copy. Uh -huh. So let us we have a created uh, one file and I want to copy. Good option. So generally, uh, in a human, uh, I just, what here doing? Let's keep this is I'm creating one file here and mm -hmm. generally create a new. Why not? Uh, mm -hmm. New. Let's I create a. One text file here. I say let's create mm. one, and I created something like line here, test, test two, right? This is I'm mm. created something, 
and mm -hmm. just I want to say similarly a new copy created. So what to say? Copy and just I say copy. We are say copy and I say paste, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And paste. Say this is the just uh, second one, right? Right. To copy second one, right? Mm -hmm. In this way, I just same content come here, right? This is the mm -hmm. original content, same content. So these things as a uh, develop uh, as a window user manually from the UI you can do. This activity we can do from the command line as well as from application also do. Right, I'm right. remove and here I'm going to create one file and writing some data and mm -hmm. duplicate. I'm going to just create the copy command, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do. So here I I'm going to say hey, let's I'm going to create one file maybe. Uh, let's example file for uh, files dot write files dot let's I'm going to use this uh, reader writer. I'm going to write the some value right. So for writing you use the writer class. For you the reading you are the read class. So I am going to create this. Uh, writer okay this is the mm -hmm. writer okay and here say ki uh, i'm going to create just path mm -hmm. uh, let's i'm going to create the uh, path one okay for one path off and here say ki i'm going to create you no know, one file the drive uh, mm -hmm. this is the my test okay inside mm -hmm. my test and i'm going to create file uh one okay mm -hmm. one dot uh let's uh first okay first mm -hmm. dot e c this is the file i'm going to create i'm say hey I'm going to create file this right right nine file kete and here i'm going to write some kind of a uh, data as well as not the blank right mm -hmm. and uh, uh you have noticed whenever we are writing we are writing that this is the close method notice always this is the rule. Whenever you are opening file, you are always writing the close. This is the guidelines. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here say dot write. Right. Okay. Sorry, I am using the reader. I have to read writer. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to write data here. Right. Say writer. I am going to say buffer writer. Mm -hmm. Now this is a buffer writer. Here I am going to close. Uh, buffered writer dot write function. Okay, mm -hmm. here I can write. Look, like I'm writing the this is a this is a test message. Okay, mm -hmm. this is a test message. And let's uh, one more line, two line. Okay, this is my this is my test message this is my test message one and this is the two right and yes. i want to between the space new line okay this will be the new line right so slash in okay mm -hmm. so now i am going to creating this file okay using this buffer writer and close it so whenever mm -hmm. you look uh, currently in my there is no such file but whenever you're running my program this will going to this will going to create this is the file first and mm -hmm. this message also going to write right it exist yeah okay and let's run okay and now this check notice this is the first file created and let's uh, look the output yes this is the two line created here mm -hmm. uh let me uh uh, say uh, message one and message two, right? Message one, mm -hmm. message two. Message mm -hmm. line number one, message one, message two, right? This is different, two, right? Let's run it. Mm -hmm. And let's hear. Now this is message one, message two. Those messages created. Okay. So now here uh, uh, our objective, I'm going to maybe one thing is status like i am reading from manually go here read what the message written mm -hmm. something option why cannot read from the code itself right 
So I am going to the comment, right? I am not going to write. Just I want to read. So okay. here, initially, initially, I would like to read first. Then read, there is no data. How? What are you going to read? Right? Mm -hmm. First, for reading, you need the data, right? Right. So it would be good. I can say, hey, this would be another method. Write that, right? Right. Just write in a separate method. Say here. Uh, because un unnecessary commenting code on uh, refactor and write in the method, right? Mm -hmm. So here say this is the refactor and name method name should be like a rename. I'm saying hey, hey, this is the write message, mm -hmm. right? Messages in file, okay? Achoo. File. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to comment. Similarly, I'm going to write the messages, uh, uh, read messages from file, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to write method read read messages from mm -hmm. file. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm going to create one more uh, method. Uh, method name is the read file from okay path. Mm -hmm. So for reading, uh, notice we have the use the concept like. Uh, Reader class. So here say hey files files class dot new new buff new buffered reader. Reader is used for the reading data, right? Say so what is the path from here? The same path I'm going to read, right? This would be the path, okay? This is the path, okay? So dot variable. So notice here one thing also we have to understand manually we are going to write always that dot dot close right right and compiler happy is there mm -hmm. any way why not compiler itself can call this close method mm -hmm. so notice whenever we are reading the try catch block that time we have resources key I am not going to write manually close so then mm -hmm. this is the option you can create this variable in the try block right. Achoo, achoo, achoo. Uh, and now say okay, this is the variable I am created. Okay. okay. Uh, so whatever you're doing, you can use this variable try block. And after that, here say try uh, dot. You want to read? I want to read. Here we have a multiple option: read, read complete, read line, or whatever the thing. Right. So we are going to read line by lines. To read line mm -hmm. and s out so now i am going to read line message one mm -hmm. okay this is the concept now we know in this whenever you're creating the variable using this try block mm -hmm. you don't need to uh, go manually write this close this is the benefit if you are writing here notice i am writing here and not closing manually as well as the alternative yeah. option don't create uh, this variable flat just create inside the try block whenever you doing in a try block this try block is responsibility they are going to the call your close method okay so these okay. are preferable way this is this is known as a try with resource concept right so let's say i call this function uh, this is the, my path uh, this would be path this is the mm -hmm. path I am going to pass here. And let's see. Notice already this have, we have a file first. I am going to just read. So here, this is the file path. I am saying, mm -hmm. hey, I am going to read. I am just reading, reading a buffer. I am reading the lines. And let's uh, run the code. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this new class, files.io, also provide this function. Notice I am able to read line one, only one. But notice mm -hmm. in this, right, I have a two line, right? Maybe right. two line or maybe three line, multiple line can be right. Mm -hmm. Maybe this file have line three, this line have four, four, right? I have maybe six, right? Right. Our program can return all the line. If I'm running code, they just reading only one line, right? Because here I'm just written only one line. So we have to run the multiple time. So maybe I can say again read. Again read. Right, mm -hmm. so I have taken three time read, 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 then it will return the three line. Right, mm -hmm. but my intention I don't know the number of line in this file, 
So mm -hmm. it would be good. I can use the manual while loop, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe here multiple line, maybe someone written, right? Right. So how I can read all these while loop? Instead mm -hmm. of writing multiple lines, instead of say, hey, I'm not going to write this way, I'm going to use the loop. I loop, mm -hmm. say, he, when our while loop close, until it is the not null, until you are getting message, value, I am going to reading, right? Right. Okay. Here, say simply as out our line. In this way, we are able to read all the line. Okay? Achha, achha. Read one line, not equal to null, print the value, again read, again read. So now, this read line going in the loop. Again, line reading, again reading, until you are message is not learned right mm -hmm. and if you run now our this method is return this read file all the value notice all the file we are able to read right mm -hmm. so it's uh, okay it's okay so now next key can our code can create the duplicate copy here copy command so mm -hmm. we are going to use the this is the class writer uh, again same using the files dot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. copy. Here the command is the copy. Uh, check, okay. check, check. Already Java have a uh, uh, files. Mm. Files dot copy, right? So copy mm -hmm. say, tell me your path and where you want to write right mm -hmm. right that is the option right so you can mm -hmm. say hey this is the my source file and i want to uh, target here they are going to the maybe target target means copy maybe uh, the, oh acha, acha. target means copy uh, second copy where i'm going to write right so here say this is the my source. This file you have to copy from this path copy. Where are you going to file? In this file, right? Okay. And just take a variable. What they return? This is just copy path. Mm -hmm. So this is the copy command. Copy command just say give me your source path and target path and some file options. We have option maybe you want to replace, copy attribute no following something let's have options i'm not going to the option but this is the optional parameter right Achha. so in this uh, it's, uh just i'm stop this uh, reading i'm not going to read right okay Achha. already we understand this is the file exists right this is mm -hmm. the file exists i'm going to uh, get the new function copy com function right mm -hmm. and let's uh, do it So here copy done and let's uh, check. Notice here second already done. Uh, same data are here copied. Mm -hmm. Okay, both are copied, right? right? So in this way you can make the copy of one file to another file. Simple files copy, mm -hmm. right? Right. Good. And okay. even you can here you can also read and check the value okay right. uh, you're a target what the target you have right you can read the target or you can read the source both you can read right the copy and just very uh, funny yeah. uh, one of the source is for just uh, uh, target is for the copy right and source is for from which value they are going to the copy which right value okay 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 from which value okay so you have even you can read here itself here on the data you can read okay notice mm -hmm. file okay second dot txt not exist mm -hmm. okay this is the second dot txt okay mm -hmm. One thing, uh, as uh, we say, uh, like uh, manually, uh, use the this command, or you have an option also. Notice here, I am reading. I can also write in a different file, right? Mm -hmm. 
so we have a lots of option sometime you can use this copy command generally this command is used but sometime i want to manually copy so you can let's key uh, my own copy function say static void void uh, copy code okay let's mm -hmm. i say hey i have to copy just simply path 1 to path 2 right i say give me the path 1 path 1 and the path 2 okay mm -hmm. sometime i want to write my own code to find right mm -hmm. you can write your own method or generally you can use the existing one but sometime someone ask you can write the code to copy command yes mm -hmm. you can do now we have a two you one is the open you can do uh, files dot uh, files dot you can say just create a first whenever you are going to copy means ki first we have existing one file where data exists right data mm -hmm. exists and copy means now we are going to create a new file here and just going data copy here line by line reading this line and writing here reading this line writing here reading this line writing here so here yeah. two file path neither right one mm -hmm. for read another for write mm -hmm. so here let's keep this is the path one from your reading so you say file reader new you can just reader from where path one i'm going to read right right this is the reading and mm -hmm. uh, here path two i'm going to writing right so mm -hmm. say files dot new writer here i'm going to write right path two mm -hmm. and it would be uh, good you can write in the tribe okay try mm -hmm. okay try block okay so that you manually you don't, don't need to the close them right mm -hmm. okay so here say okay throws i exception this method throws i exception okay mm -hmm. so now what the logic you are going to write here you are going to write the logic same you are reading from here line by line so here say ki this is my reader i am going to uh, similarly like here uh, hey i am going to the read line i am reading the one line right mm -hmm. dot variable i am reading file and until it's not equal to null right i am going mm -hmm. to copy all the line by line right right so here say i am reading and after that i am going to write this value i am going to write this in my writer hey writer mm -hmm. dot write mm -hmm. right i am reading straight line okay and we are going to do for the all line yeah. instead of here here what are doing here you are printing i am not going to print i am going to write in the different file so right. this is the whatever the code you written for your uh, read data the same code is also for the copy data instead of here here i am checking output on the console right system dot printer here say mm -hmm. don't print just write in the another file this is a file just write here now this is your manually copy right so let us uh, 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 this is the uh maybe i am going to the create the target one maybe third i am going to copy in the third file right all right but okay. okay third file this is the target one so this is target one so here mm -hmm. say i am going to comment this now this is the source file first file now we have a first file here first file this is my first file i am going to make another copy in the third file name right so here say this is the my uh, i am going to use my function copy simply say copy okay and first my this is the file from where i am to copy and to where i am copy this right here okay s out okay hey 
all the node failure, right? So instead of uh, you are using the manually like uh, this copy command, this also <laughs> works. Sometimes someone asks, you can write own copy command? Yes, because this is the same as a read and write. Copy means read and write. One file, I want to make another copy. What is the meaning? So this is the new blank copy. Here I am reading one line and writing here, reading one line, writing here, reading one line, writing here, right? The same thing, Absolutely. if I am read value and printing on the console, I can write another file as well as because I know if this is a file writer, just I am saying write function. So this is the line used for the writing another file. Mm -hmm. So notice here there is a no any kind of a third, and just you can run this program and it will if say okay, that means they are able to copy. Now it's okay, okay say and let's check here. Notice third file created, right? Mm -hmm. And in third file, all the data are written, right? Mm -hmm. All the data are written. And here we have to maybe new line, new line. So let's add the new line. Okay. So here I'm just say he after that you just write the new line. Okay. For after each line, make a new line. Because here notice the while writing, you are using writing new line, right? Right. Similarly, I'm going to write the new line and again run it. And notice uh, this refresh, and you can just check third, third I with all the new line, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the way read write operation you can do. Now notice these are the classes like uh, files is the class which offer this method for reading use this reader class, writing use for writer. For reading use this read line method. For writing you can use the write method. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are the you can say uh, different different API method. Uh, this uh, class itself means this uh, file class, named the Java dot add files class already offer us. Just we have to use them as per our need. Sometimes I want to create directory, you can create directory. Sometimes you want to create a path, you can path. If you want to read, you can read. If you want to write, you can write. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So the now the only the point here as number of things we are going to use this are help us. Mm -hmm. Right. But surely these two classes are mostly used. One path for making your path, deciding C drive, D drive, F drive, right? This is the one variables path you can use, and one is the files is the class we are going to use this. The files mm -hmm. class have a lots of files related utility classes you have, right? Mm -hmm. Files need a path, right? So here you can use these two classes and almost you these two classes solve your all the file related problems. Maybe file path issue, reading, writing, creating, deleting, right? Mm -hmm. Now I want to delete this uh, third file. Now this is a third file created. Now I want to delete them. So I already know this files class have an option. Say hey files dot delete. Okay, delete F exist. And I know okay, I want to delete this third one, target one. I just pass here and it will be deleted, right? Mm -hmm. And notice oh, this, this concept I can use in the database as well, just like read write. Uh, yes, delete. yes, this uh, all the function read writes is already implemented by database. By this exactly. is manually, manually you are using the read function, write function. Yeah. These all database, what the database is the, like maybe MySQL database or Oracle or any database. What is they are given one interface to you command line right. interface or GUI interface. They are taking input from you and internally they are writing to the your file system. Right. All the software, Oracle or MySQL, internally, they mm -hmm. are writing all your data in the file system itself. Right. So currently, what we are doing, we are learning how to write data in the files and how to right. read data from files. So right. these activities all written in a particular software package, no name given as a database, okay, DB, mm -hmm. Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, all are doing the same things. 
they are writing data in the file reading data from file okay so now currently we are understanding how as a java programmer can directly write data in the file can directly read data from the file and if you are using this software like oracle mysql at that time you're not going to call the write function read function you can just say hey i want to select table name table right. name is file name something mm -hmm. i want to put value or delete value right they have a select insert update delete what are you doing you are doing something right. The same operations are internally written by the software developer. Means key in the case of Oracle, Oracle written this code for you. And MySQL, MySQL written for you. Internally, you are not going to create the file and open the file, writing the file, closing the file, right? All this right. hurdle is hidden by your from the developer, from the user to the software component. Right. So now you are using the maybe or any database system. Mm -hmm. So database system is nothing, just same as a file input output operation. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. plus they have given the lots of additional feature, like you can using the lots of create table, make a relationship, making updating, mm -hmm. view, mm -hmm. transaction management, atomicity, lots of additional feature they have written. If you are going to you manually creating your database, all the mm -hmm. things you have to take in care. By yourself as a from program so instead right. our objective is to fulfill the customer requirement not the building the database so you are going to use the existing market software like maybe it's mysql oracle or any database that just save our cost achha, achha, achha. special purpose if you have a time you can do sub each and everything from scratch mm -hmm. even here java java is not going to write directly he has a key write the method notice this write method is just given to the java developer mm -hmm. java is going to write the data in this file no mm -hmm. operating system right operating system this the files owner is the operating system operating system have this hard disk where they are storing this data so finally our java virtual machine also request hey operating system this is my line can you write in the data file and this is the file okay. name right so here also this is the layer here mm -hmm. our JVM software JVM don't have a OS capability, right? Right. Now the operating systems, which is the capable to storing information in the hard disk in the form mm -hmm. of file. So our Java virtual machine send a request. Hey, I want to store this message in th this file. Can you do help? Then mm -hmm. OS receive request and finally write them. Right. So finally, here also you are using the Java language as a one software, just interface for Java developer to interacting with the operating system file system. So here, notice this write method is not written by me, just I'm using. Okay, mm -hmm. these write methods are somehow maybe written by internally requested by uh, you can say a native method. Somehow they are going to write. Mm -hmm. Okay, so notice these are some abstract method internally. They are our Java designer internally communicate to the operating systems, right? That's already that's already in built. We are just using that. Uh, ah, right, man. right, 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 right. right. So right. now the uh, objective is just you can use these classes. Until mm -hmm. the number of times you are using, lots of the class have been given a method. Just explore and true. Because surely we are not cover all the things here. But surely you, if you try any doubt, any confusion, we can create. Like we delete, copy, new for new data, which today is study. Like create file, create directory, create directory, create links, create mm -hmm. temporary directory, temporary files as well as even mm -hmm. create, check particular file exist or not exist, but find particular path. Maybe want to details path, get attributes, file attributes. We want to check the particular file, read mode, write mode, what time, what updated times, right? All right. the things you can check. What do they store? Who is the file owner? What is the, is the, can also check particular is directory, yeah, is path. What is this? Let us check is directory. I'm saying uh, this is the target one. So target one is the file or directory. What is, how, how I know? 
if this is the path variable, this is the path variable, I don't know this is the directory or file. So you can just say okay, this is the method you can use and they check us. Yes, I am telling you this is the directory or not direct, right? Mm -hmm. So generally, uh, so Windows have a two you, kind of, yes, one is the directory, you. one is the file. No, notice this is the false. This is not a directory, mm -hmm. this is a file that means, right? Mm -hmm. Because this is the third, their TX is a file, not a directory, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this class have a lots of, lots of methods, just you have to explore them, right? Right, right, right. So it is time to time basis, just we can, we can have this all the feature. It is like deep, it is not a one or two day, but like we need to know just like uh, time to time. We will we'll understand that of what kind of feature we do have this and that. That's when we have to just like parallelly study a lot. Yes. So lots of uh, lines method, list method, match method. You want to move, move maybe move from one file from a place to another place, right? Right, right. They can move. Lots of method they have. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 e same thing, uh, I think, Ria uh, Dinoki, uh, whenever we're reading, starting the reading the Java file system, say the two uh, multiple types of stream, maybe byte stream, input stream, read character stream. So all this method, like you said, notice this is the input stream for the byte read and write operation. For the read and write for character input stream, character write stream, right? So mm -hmm. all this function here, read all byte, read all lines, right? Mm -hmm. So now I'm to, instead of I'm going to read in here loop, here I'm using, using loop. I hear so simply uh, this is the like uh, dot files uh, dot read all lines. Okay? Mm -hmm. Read mm -hmm. lines. Instead, I don't want to manually while loop. Say this is the, my source. I want to read all line and say just for it and printing all everything, right? One liner. Achha, achha, achha. Even don't need a while loop manually. Here I'm for reading, I'm writing the while loop. Mm -hmm. One liner just use the lines function. Lines function just say create that. Notice this line function can throw exception. So say he suggests you can use the try block okay, to resource. So here say try. try so that the automatic close happen, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here say this is method, this method, lines method. Just mm -hmm. pass this path. This I pass the source path and say this return on one stream. And now no, now we have a stream, and on the stream, you can stream dot for each. We know already stream, right? Uh, oh, it's very lots of stuff, but uh... Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Even here, I'm not going to do any kind of loop. They, this is the file. No, notice we read all the data here itself mm. using the stream, right? Mm. So this file class is a very, very rich set of API related to the files. Almost all the things you can file in this one class, Java dot IO dot and IO dot files. Read right. line, complete read all, read link, lots of this class is this. We discuss. Surely, let's explore here and any right operation, any things we need to discuss, right? Oh, sure. We want to write, maybe write byte, maybe write list, maybe walk. Lots of methods they have. Even generally, uh, find out the even want to some uh, file permission like who is the owner, what is the last time, what is the things. Lot of the things. You notice there are lots of read all lines, read all attributes, oh. all the things they have, right? Right, right, 100%. I agree. So, this humble uh, suggestion these are the two classes one is mm -hmm. the path class, and one your files class. Mm -hmm. Almost uh, serve all the problem, all the requirement related to the file system. What are the requirement to the file system? Read file, write file, create file, delete exactly. file, move file, copy file. These are the operations generally we need it on the file system. All these methods offer to you. Right? Mm -hmm.
Mm. Any confusion, any doubt, any question? Oh, it is a very good question today. Yeah, confusion. There is no confusion, but like I would like to say, yeah, because of now you are talking about uh, read, write, copy, and then uh, what's called that? Uh, Delete are all operations you can do. All all operation, huh? So uh, what are you calling this all the operation, uh, Ajayvay? Operation like, means read is the one operation, write is the one operation, copy is the one operation, move yeah. is the one operation, delete is the one operation, right? Read is the one operation. Right. But like, is there operation any means function? Right? Function. Yeah, function. But like, is there any specific name for like uh, read, uh, read, write, execution, copy, paste, uh, those things? Is there any specific name for that? Because of the in the API, we do use this thing too, just like uh, right. get post. Uh, uh, get method, post method, delete method. Ah, so it is the common in the uh, in that uh, API testing. Yeah, same similarly here. Just okay. you can uh, look this uh, definitions of the Java. This is the uh, your sign. Say all these methods you can find in this Java doc. Just okay. copy this okay. library and go to the Google. Google say give me the Java doc for that, you can find all the methods which they have, right? Go to uh -huh. the file system, and this is the Java NO package, and IO package, and open it, and uh -huh. here you can file all the packages. This is the file, and this is similarly file sign looking. This is, is the file. Like file system or something like that. Okay. Yes, this is a file system. Yeah, this is the right. class, and here all the functions you can explore, right? Right, right. Whatever I am using, like a read line, read byte, canonical path, file not exists, new output stream, uh -huh. new input stream, new directory, whatever the lots of functions they have. Right, okay? right. Uh -huh. Just go through. This is a public available on the Oracle website. Just explore it, right? Mm -hmm. But surely, these class, files class, are almost uh, serve the basic requirement of your file related question answer mm -hmm. yeah our requirement right mm -hmm. so this is the now turns uh, for exercise right so let's do right. exercise let's check this. any confusion any doubt until you are not doing you're not creating file not creating directory not uh, writing in the something not writing something right right let's just practice help us right True, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ajay. Anything else you want to discuss today? No, that's everything today. Yeah. Yeah. Long day for us. That's good. So it's good, I think. Yeah. Riyad, anything for you? Uh, yeah. I'm I'm good today. Okay. Hmm. Let's explore. Okay. Yeah. So these are the very simple. Whatever the first day we start uh, to reading and writing, same mm -hmm. thing always you read. Whatever the API going to do, finally they have provide the operation read and write, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the same syntax, same thing, right? Mm -hmm. But generally, uh, uh, whenever you are going to please ensure, whenever you are going to open any files, this is our responsibility. We have to close this file, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is the alternative Java given. If you sometime you don't want to read scrolls, please you just try with the resource option. Means whatever the object you're creating this, just create in this try block. Try okay. block. Whenever you do try block, means you don't need to call this close method. This try block itself automatically call, call the close method, right? Okay. So this is known as a try with the resources. So generally, whenever you are using the file system or any resource. Please use this try with resource. This is the guidelines, not a mandatory. You can write like code here. Manually, you can open the file and close the file, right? Mm -hmm. Like in a Windows system, I open the file, I read it. That's after my responsibility. I close this file, right? Mm -hmm. Unnecessary or opening means your resources is occupied, right? Mm -hmm. If I am closed, that means now our operating system is free for do some other work, right? So why right. we need to because our resources are free can be used by other purpose. Mm -hmm. Because I'm open this file, not me. Our Java virtual machines are blocked. 
until someone might be someone going to read someone write something or might be someone reading in there right until you are not closing so unnecessary resources are deutilization right sure. a good option if you open something read mm. something or write something after that you can close them right right so because nowadays these are resources is very costly things because they are costly in the terms of timing mm. unnecessary they are uh, looking to you you are reading something or writing something mm -hmm. if your resources are closed that means they are free this resources you this if you can ready to work for the other request in this machine lots of processes are running right and they mm -hmm. our operating system serve give the request to the, all the things right notice if you look the task manager and figure out lots of services on your system running right mm -hmm. task manager and look the number of services running on the system right system the running is oh, what do you mean by system running like like available in the market oh, operating system operating system system means Answer, answer. All the services are running. So our operating systems have enough time; they can give opportunity to these all the services, right? Answer, answer. So this is the just guidelines. Please follow whenever you are opening any file for read operation or write operation. Once mm -hmm. your operation activity done, please close them. You can answer. manually do, or you can tell our Java virtual machine, "Hey, you can do for me." So how JVM do? You give some hint. So this is the hint. Try. Try block. Try block is a hint for JVM. Hey, JVM mm -hmm. understand. This means you are opening this file inside a try block. That my responsibility. I have to call the close method. Notice here, I am not writing the close, right? Mm -hmm. So this is some best practices we have to follow, sure. right? Sure. So let's do practice and note down all your question and we have to discuss. Yeah. Definitely. That's for today. Thank you. Thank you, Ajibha. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Ajibha. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>